I mentioned the word disambiguation, to disambiguate, to, to reduce or remove the ambiguity, to reduce or remove the confusion, to get from many meanings to one more coherent, implicate meaning. Many different ways you could deal with that word. It comes out of the computer industry. It's when one piece of software has too many variables that it has to choose among in order to come up with a solution to go on to the next step, so to speak, then it's said that what it has to do is disambiguate. It has to reduce those variables down to something they can use to progress with. There's so many nested levels of ambiguity in our code. In addition to the obvious letter sound correspondences, which are very confusing for all the reasons that we've discussed in the brief history of the code, and in particular the first millennium bug, there's a messy, confusing relationship between letters and sounds. We wouldn't let any machine in the world run code like this. And the challenge is that our children's brains have to work through the confusion in that code. They have to disambiguate the relationship between the letters and each letter's range or field of potential sounds in the actual sound that letter's supposed to be making in the word that it's currently appearing. If you were to break down all the bottlenecks to processing involved in reading, having to do with visual recognition and the speed of visual recognition processing, having to do with sound processing and the speed of sound differentiation or phonemic differentiation, or vocabulary. You can break down all the different bottlenecks. And some of them, of course, require more exposure, like vocabulary. But when it comes to pure processing problems, what is it that's challenging the brain most from a point of view of just the processing challenge. The biggest single processing challenge bottleneck for most children is disambiguation. It's working through the confusion in the code in time to keep up with the rate of language production, of virtual language production, that's necessary to make a coherent, intelligible, understandable stream of language happen in their minds.